and welcome back for this tutorial update i want to show you really quick how you can duplicate your lights in blender 3.0 let's jump right in so okay uh here we are now in blender and yeah let's head into the geometry node setup and yeah let's uh let's create a new one so first of all we need uh, a geometry which is here something like this and let's add here our geometry node setup and now we want to add here something like mesh line we will use this one today and the other one is we want to use an info collection info which is this one here right now and now we have to put this one to instance and on points okay so these are the three uh, nodes which we will need today but uh, now we have to create a light so let's put here our light and uh, let's yeah, use a point light and put this one here into a new collection which will be lights uh, let's rename this to geometry node lights okay and um yeah let's let's get it on here <clears throat> okay first of all we need to put our mesh here to our points and then the collection to the instances let's select here our lights and put this one into the geometry okay now nothing happens but when we are going here into rendered mode we can see that we are having here our lights cool so maybe let's increase this one to something like 100 and now um when we are changing this one here to endpoints and maybe we will go here with something in the y maybe to 25 in the y let's zero this one out here for now and then this for minus 25 we are getting here our lights now okay that's cool and yeah let's uh, put this one up here into the z value to maybe something like 5.5 or five and five and now we are having this one here at our ceiling cool um when we're disabling here the um the collection this one will disappear here right now okay and if you want to have multiple colors in your lights so maybe let's say we want to duplicate this one here and change here this one to something bluish and duplicate this one as well and change it to something pinkish here right now okay now you can see that our geometry and node lights are getting yeah a little bit weird because all three lights are now on the same place now we want to say that geometry nodes should take um yeah only one so let's enable here the separate children and now we have to make a check here by pick instance and if you want to have a little bit more randomness you can go here and search for a random value let's put this one here into the instance index and when you are playing here around with these numbers so let's see something like this and now you can play with the seed and yeah now we are back here in the disco disco tunnel right now that was this tiny update for blender 3.0 i hope you like it and if you have any questions please let me know see you next time and bye bye